Hi guys, I want to give you an update of the new features on this version and also a, a quick tour of how the, the the quick toggles work and how they are how they are supposed to be configured and and also triggered once you're on game. All right, I hope uh, this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or you'd like to see specific videos. Uh, don't hesitate to let me know and I'll try to make a, a quick video for it. All right, welcome. Let's, let's get to it. All right, so let's get ready. Let's start a game, just a custom game. And let me start by uh, just pick up a operator that has a shield and then uh, I'll start showing you the different features. Uh, I think I can I can use Rose, which is one of my favorites. I hope they don't nerf Rose and then everything start going to <laughs> to shit on it. But let's see, let's see how it works. All right. Uh, all right. So let's get started. Sorry. All right, so the first thing I'd I like to show you guys is the uh, uh, all the quick toggles and how they they are acting now, and how they supposed to to react with different different scenarios. So let me just put this guy over here, and I'll show you how to how to do the fast pick. So the first one, let me do uh, the crouch crouch palm. Um, so basically you do ADS and then double tab up and then the uh, the chronos will show oh let me show you it will actually show you that the status of that thing so if you were to uh, press the ADS and double tap the uh, the d-pad up you will see a message that tells you what the status of that particular uh, quick towel is. So you, so now you can see I turn it on. So what does that mean? So now when I start shooting, uh, I, I remember most of these features are are tied to the ADS and the fire. So you have to be ADSing, and then when you fire, you're gonna see that it's actually it's actually a kind of a Crouch pan, but there's one thing I'd like to show you. So the first thing I I, I want you guys to pay attention is that it takes a couple seconds. Well, actually, it's like 250 milliseconds before it triggers the uh, crouch span. Right? You can see that. And the reason for that, you know, uh, I got I got some feedback from some of the users that are champions. So I, I believe that they know what they're talking about, right? So they said that this is the most useful uh, version of the crush band, right? Because you want to be sh shooting and then right before uh, the other guy reacts and shoot you, then you start spamming. So the first the first seconds that you start shooting, you, you don't want to be crouch spanning because you want your shots to be more on point and then you can crash by but you can see in my case you know the crash pan is, is it's kind of fast and that's because my crash pan is set to that value so if you want to configure that then you go to ads and then do uh, view or share and then you can see the little menu here then you you will scroll to to the uh, configure modes so these mode values is actual all the different quick towels values that you you're able to configure. So uh, now you can see I press select and a crash pan then select again. You can see that it's 60. So if I wanted to take longer, then just basically uh, just raise it maybe 200. Well, let's do 150 so you can see the difference, right? Uh, that's it. Now press A to save it, and now if I if I shoot again, now you can see that the uh, crouch pan is much slower. 
And the same thing works if you put it uh, with the lower delay, so it would be crash panning faster. All right, so that's crash pan. So now let me turn that off, and then I can show you now a strap uh, shot. So you double tap um, right, a uh, D-pad right, and you can see now that we have this on. So what that does, it's like you expect that it would just, while you should, it will move left to right, left to right. And same thing with the values, right? So if you go to the menu values, uh, let's let's find the strap. Right now it's 200. So that's the amount of time it takes before it, it moves to the other side. So uh, let's put it at 100. That's 100. And that's it. Now you can see that it's actually moving really quick. And the maximum value is 200. You don't want to go uh, higher than that because now it's <laughs> it's gonna be just moving way way too much, right? So I limited the 200. Let me know, guys, if you're okay with that. But if not, just let me know. So this is right, right? All right. So now let's let's do the fast pick, which is the one that you guys probably don't know. And there's there's like three modes to the fast pick. Uh, so let me turn on. So again, you ADS and double tap left, and then you have fast pick. So the way the way this this was designed, it just so you you are for example in a corner, and you want to fast pick and shoot. So let me let me just try here. So now if I if I hit on this wall and then just just quick tap uh, the right, then it is gonna she was going to peek to the right, and then it's going to shoot and come back. And so this is just so so you guys uh, kind of get used to it when you are on a corner and you're hiding, but you know somebody's there, just quick peek it and then go back. And then if you do left, of course, you're going to try to do the same thing to the left. Uh, it doesn't mi make my much sense from where I am, but if I'm here, then the left is what you want to be using. And then you have the uh, the app, right? So you just do the same thing with the app. So you just quick tap the app, uh, the pad up, and then it will just raise, shut, and go back. All right, makes sense? All right, so that's quick pick. Uh, so it has three modes, you quick pick left, right, or up, and then basically a quick pick shoots and then go back to the original or original place. So if I were to be up and then just do this, then it's gonna do the other way around. Uh, that that could be useful, I guess, for when you are uh, using the new the new shield transparent shield. Uh, I still haven't found any good scenarios, but yeah, is there anyway? All right, so let me and then the the other. The other um, quick tab is the auto lean. So if you ADS and then press down, uh, sorry, double tap down, then the uh, auto lean gets activated. So when you ADS and then you move in, if you, if you, uh, oh, sorry, if you, if you move to the right or to the left, uh, then it will auto lean. So you can move your, your right stick freely, but your left stick, if you move it to the right, then it's going to auto lean right. If you move it to the left, it's going to auto lean left, right? So that's useful when you are just hunting for somebody and you just auto leaning. Uh, but another good thing that to be aware is that if you start shooting, then the auto lean gets disabled and gets, gets locked on that position. So for example, if I find somebody there, and I shoot it, and if I move my left stick, it, then it's not gonna take me out of that position. So let's see. So then I do that, and then I move left and right, and you can see, you can see it got locked into that uh, uh, left lean, sorry, right lean. All right, so that's the uh, double tap. Uh, well, I don't wanna take too much time, but I just wanna do like a quick, uh, 
a quick explanation of that. So then uh, we have another four quick uh, toggles, but the way those get triggered, let me disable this guy. I'm oh, sorry. I uh, meant this guy. Oh, okay, auto lean off. So now there's no more auto leaning. Okay. So now if I, if I were to press the ADS, I mean, hold the ADS and then the left D-pad and then do uh, the gun swap button or Y triangle. If I do that, then I'll, I'll turn on the lean span. What does that mean? Well, uh, if I shoot, then it's gonna, okay, I'm out of bullets, so let me, oh. <laughs> so basically it's just gonna do the, the uh, lean span, so you can see that, right? So. so if I do, let me disable that one and turn on the prone shot, same thing, right? So if I were to shoot, uh, sorry, prone shot is, is what uh, uh, I think it was right before. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, prone shot is uh, ADS, left D pad, and then the A button. So if you do that, you can see that it will actually prone, prone once, and then keep shooting until the next time that you, you that you uh, trigger. So for example, you are you are here and then you start shooting, then it will prone and then keep shooting all the way. All right, so it's the difference between this and crouch is the crouch span will just go up and down uh, all, the, all the time you're shooting. Prone, just gonna go prone and then stay on that position. All right, so then we have a uh, rapid fire for all. So what, what is that? So some, some guns are configured not to have uh, rapid fire, right? Because the, uh, you basically don't need it, right? So the rate of fire is not needed for those guns. So then you just turn it on and then every gun will have rapid fire. And then finally, uh, if you do ADS left and then A button, then you actually turn on the rapid fire. So for example, if I just uh, do it again, uh, shoot with a shotgun, you can see that he only shots one, right? You can see the, because I, I kept the the fire button on, you can see the, uh, the anti-recall kicks in and then you can see my gun moving down. So let's see. You see that? So, so those are, those are the uh, quick toggles, so. Um, yeah, let me see if uh, you have any more questions on that. So those are the basic, basically new stuff. And of course, another, another things that you might be aware of is when you navigate right through the, through the uh, operator, you can see that now the order of the operator change, especially on the original operators, right? So now you can see that they are they are on the same order as uh, on the on the screen selection for the game, right? So you can see now, and then you can see now the the new uh, season. So you had Thunderbird here, and then if I were to go to to the defenders, I'm uh, sorry, uh, the attackers, right? Uh, you can see if I if I go back, then you'll see the new operator here. Or if you go uh, shift left, try to navigate through the different seasons, then you will see the season, uh, year six, season three is uh, Crimson Heights. So if you let it go, then you have Flores and then you have also. All right, so that's it guys. Let me know if uh, you find this uh, video useful or you wanna see a different type of videos. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs>